Hey y'all, so I'm gonna show y'all how <clears throat> to make a quick made outfit. So we're gonna just use some black, some white, and some old stockings, and of course the doll, and a little piece of paper. All right, this is gonna be so basic and simple. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna make a quick little pattern using the doll. Um, so we can just like trace her. It's going to be like the A-line type dress. So the shoulder is about here. It's going to come out to about here, I suppose. Then we're going to do A-line, maybe down here. So So that's good enough. All right, so let's clean it up a little bit. If you like make a little neck like that, then make it like this. <clears throat> okay, this is the basic pattern of what we're gonna make. So let's hold it in half because I feel like all we need is one good side and then we can just duplicate that for the other side. So this is essentially our pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. And it'll be a straight A-line type situation. Not a lot to it. gonna do like a little neck it doesn't matter all right that's what we got okay so we need two of these because it's gonna be one for the front one for the back so let's get our black fabric fold it I folded it over and okay, that's good, that's enough. See which way it stretches. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we're gonna pin this down. down and cut it out all right now we didn't cut it out um as you can see i cut it out since i traced this using the doll so the dress is going to be about this size actually because of the way i cut it um it might be a little bit smaller than the paper but that's okay because i use stretch fabric so when i cut the pattern out i cut it out a little bit um wider than the pattern that i made so that we can have a little bit of a seam allowance. Um, so now I'm going to put this on my sewing machine and cross my fingers because hopefully the sewing machine can sew this and I don't have to do it by hand. But I'm only sewing this side, like, you know, here, here, and then around here. That's it. It's going to be the most simple thing that you can make. So I'm going to do the sewing and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we've sewn everything down. Um, I left the paper on just because I felt like it would be a um, a good guide for me. And it is because I did this side first and I kind of came down a little bit on the paper. So when I did the second side, I kind of did kind of the same thing on the other side. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but that is what we have. So I can just peel that off and here we go. It's just a little um basic little dress nothing special about it 
so now let's get started on um, making like the white, like the apron for the dress. Let's figure out how to do that. Okay, so for the apron portion of this, um, basically we want it to like be on the shoulders like this. Um, and then we want like a thing like this. And then I guess once it gets about to here, we're going to take it around the waist like that. So another band like that. And then it's just going to be like the white skirt. Okay. So. All right. So we're basically going to cut. Um, I choose my same pattern and we're just going to cut like a little A-line situation. And then we want it to be maybe about this long or so. So let's unpin this and like fold it up. And then we can cut it down. Alrighty, so we have that. All right, so I've cut a bunch of strips and here's a little piece that's gonna go on the front. So I'll take one of my strips and I'll cut it in half. And then we're gonna place it down like this. And we're going to place the other one like this. Well, actually, you know, we ain't even we don't even have to sew this. We can actually just glue this. And I think that that would be easier. So, let's use some of this and just glue this down. and do it like this but we're gonna cut cut these sides off first okay now we have this part and now we can work on the bottom now for the bottom I'm actually going to sew down like this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I sewed the sides down and then I didn't show this on camera, but I just um, cut one of the sides open, okay? So we're gonna have something like this. So the next thing that I'm, I'm actually going to, um, iron this open because I want it to you know behave how I would like so I'm gonna iron this open so that it's nice and flat and then I'm gonna take another one of these 
bands here and I'm gonna hmm I think I'm just gonna glue it down instead of sewing it down I'm just gonna glue it down like this and then I'll be right back Alright, so we have our main dress, and then we have our apron that goes over it, and now we need to make some stockings because what is a housekeeper without stockings, okay? So these are just, this is just an old pair of stockings. Alright, so this is what we have. Um, they don't look the best, but it's the general idea of stockings, okay? So, this is how I made these. Okay, so have your little piece of old stockings that you have. And you're going to cut it about this wide or so. And then we're just going to wrap it around her leg. wrap it around her leg and we're gonna gather it like this and we're just gonna sew this together I actually started from the top the last time Now when you get all the way down, okay, you're going to cut away the excess like so. And now you're going to like loop so all the way back up. So I'm just going around like this. See, so I'm just going around so that the threads that I'm making kind of hold the, um, the stockings. Like, I don't know. I can't even explain it. But it's like I'm going around it so that it'll be flat on here and not just like sticking out like you see how that's sticking out but then that's flat so that's what we're doing right now <laughs> women have garter belts to hold the stockings up but we're not going to worry about that because it doesn't matter because her dress is going to be about this long. So as long as she has stockings here. And then we also have shoes for her. They're white. So yeah, that she can fit. So that's why I didn't have anything going under her foot because these shoes fit her. All right, so we have our stockings and the rest of our outfit. So let's get her dressed. All right, so this is the most basic dress. You know, as you can see, there is no collar or anything like that, but I'm not worried about that. Um, 
It's a little tight here because I did not uh, take into consideration of her boobs when I made the pattern. So, you know, put a little more fabric here. All right. So now we can put her apron on her. All right. So we are done. We have our maid with her little outfit and her apron. Okay. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel for more cool miniature content. Peace out. All right, so if you've watched for this long, then thank you. And you're going to get a little bit of bonus content. So let's make a, um, a little duster. So a toothpick is the perfect size to fit in her hand. You see, so everything that we make is going to be made out of that because it can fit in her hand. So let's start by using this to just cut off the pointy end because we don't quite need that. Um, and then I guess a duster is going to be like maybe, let's see, about that long, I guess. Okay. So now I found some, um, uh, what do you call this, feather? And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around here. But let's first put some glue on here. All right. I think that's good enough. Yeah. And let's then just take this and wrap it around. And I guess it'll work. So that's that, and then maybe we can trim some of this off. And we can also trim some of this off too. We don't need all of that. Okay, I mean, it looks like a duster to me. Let's see, let's put it in our hand. There we go. So now she can, now she can clean. All right, thanks for watching guys. Here she is, cleaning.